Hello, thank you for joining me. Hey, in this film, what I'd like to show you is how to pin the stairs. Stairs are really neat. Uh, they're really, really, really cool. Uh, they're uh, a very interesting uh, and very automated feature that's uh, embedded in Revit that you can really take advantage of and create some very complex geometry in a relatively short uh, period of time. What I like to do is take my stairs and put them off here to the right. So when you come in the front door, you have a couple different choices. You can go left in the living room and then if you have to go go to the bathroom over there, or you can go right and go down the hall, and then down the hall, which is separated uh, by a door here, and once you go into the back hall back here, you have bedrooms, a bathroom, a uh, washer and dryer room, and a water heater. And when you go to the right over here, you can go into an area where there's going to be stairs. So I'm going to put stairs in this area, and I believe I'm going to make my stairs about three foot six inches wide, so I'm going to have to make some modifications to some of the default settings with the stairs in order to put that in. So, yeah, let's get started. Home tab. Uh, working from the left to the right, this is over into the circulation section of the of the home tab. We're going to go to stairs, and let's uh, check our, our our parameters here. You want to make sure that on your um, when you go to the modify create stairs uh, tab up here on the ribbon, that you want to make sure that run is selected. And if you want to make a linear stairs, choose the line. If you want to make a circular stairs, choose the arc. And I'll demonstrate the arc for you really quick. It's a center radius arc. So you're going to establish the center first, and then you're going to establish the radius of that, and it allows you to go out at a specific distance, maybe four foot six inches. And then you start your arc, and if you want to do a one fell swoop, you just take it and go all the way around the arc. If you want to stop and put a line in there, you can do that. So we haven't uh, really finished that. And it's already conflicting with the wall, but that's okay, because you can take your stairs and move those around uh, once you get done. So you notice that there's great text in here. It says seven risers created, 14 remaining. I'm going to go ahead and pick up my stairs over here, and then again build my arc. Four and a half uh, feet, I think, is what I had initially. So now it's kind of clicking with a bunch of other uh, object snaps. So it might be a little tricky getting that uh, specific dimension I was looking for initially. But if I get it close, there's four foot six. It doesn't really start where I want it to be, but again, I can complete that by completing the arc over there. And what it does is it takes my first arc over here, connects it with the landing over here, and finishes up, up over there. A spiral staircase probably isn't as practical in a building like this. So I'm going to go to X and guess it, get out of that. And let's do that uh, stairs one more time. This time we'll do a full arc without any landings at all. So we're going to choose the center arc. And this time we'll go about in the middle of the room. Spread that out. This time we only go about uh, maybe about three and a half feet. We can always adjust this later. And go all the way around. And there's a spiral staircase. Go to check mark. And, you know, the stairs are outside of the house. And if we wanted to, we could make that room a little bit bigger. And if you click on the stairs themselves. Oops. What do I do there? Yes, whatever you're doing, stop it. So we're going to cancel that. Click on the stairs. You know you've selected all the stairs and not just the railings like I just did. If it all turns blue, then you use your arrow keys and move it into place if you like. It'll go at one or two inch increments. If you're really far out, maybe half foot increments or more. Oh man, I went too far. Stop it. Okay, so now it's coming back. Okay. And let's go ahead and rotate this. So that the start of the stairs is off to the left a little bit. And it's still interfering with the wall. So what you're going to do is you're going to come into the room, turn right, and go up those stairs. Let's take a camera view of that real quick, and then we'll leave this video and pick it up in the next one. So go to view, go to 3D view, scroll down, go to camera. Let's take a look at what those stairs look like. And you can see how the stairs dig into the wall a little bit, and again, modifications to the wall are appropriate at this point. Okay, join me for the next one.